Hello and welcome. This is a budget-friendly tutorial on how to play back Resi, pause and play Resi without anybody pressing a button. Um, this is how we run services um, at our receiving campus um, pretty efficiently. We're using Ableton um, on stage to send a MIDI note to our lighting computer, which is a Windows computer, so Mac to Windows. Um, that MIDI note is translated by BOM, MIDI Network Translator, into a Python script. And that Python script is what is triggering the pause and play of Resi, or Living as One, I think, is, is the older name of it. Um, so yeah, let's get nitty gritty with how this works. All right, so in order to get started, you're gonna wanna have access to slash download a few things. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is, um, if you're using a Windows computer, I'm using Windows 10, I know Windows 11 is available now, but um, if you're using Windows 10, um, we're gonna use what's called a Telnet um, connection to talk from this computer to another computer. Um, and it's disabled by default. So you'll have to follow this step-by-step -step, um, to basically enable it. You go into your, um, you go into control panel and you basically check that little box right there and it's done, it's, it's super easy. So I'll attach this link um, so that you can follow Microsoft's instructions for turning that on. Next thing you'll need to do is download um, Python. Um, this is kind of a, a, a language uh, that you can use to run repeated things over and over again. So um, I'm, I'm not a programmer by any means. This was kind of my first dip in that puddle um, was, was learning a little bit of this stuff. Um, so download it for your operating system um, and go from there. It, it's actually pretty easy to use. Basically, um, once we get to the script stuff, I'll show you how I saved it as a Python script, which can be triggered m many times over and over and over. The other thing that you're gonna need, um, in, in this case, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but this was such a powerful tool um, and, and it's super easy to use, really helpful. There's tons of um, documentation on it. Is, is this BOM translator, um, particularly the pro, because you can have lots of, lots of networks in and out. Um, so I've got this running on the computer already, and it utilizes, um, I'll just minimize this. Uh, this is our, our, our lighting translator. Um, so MIDI notes come in and are translated to hexadecimals, which help the, the software um, that we use to, to run lights um, automatically. But um, in this case, there is a cue list down here at the bottom. I'm not gonna explain how BOM works. Um, there's plenty of stuff on that, but Inside of here, I have um, basically MIDI notes coming in that translate or um, go out as something else. So right here, this Play Resi um, MIDI note coming in, it's just what I've labeled it for my sake. Um, it's a program change, and um, the program change goes out as um, uh, an execute file action. And then I have a file path right here um, to the particular Python um, script. So that's basically what happens. MIDI note comes in and out goes the execute file. And inside of this file is the Telnet connection. Let's get to the code. All right, so we're about to open up some of the scripts that have been written. Um, now, I, I have another tutorial probably on its way um, describing how I have done the same process for automating the Video Hub um, 40 by 40, uh, you know, to, to automate some of the macro switches that um, we were doing manually for a while. So um, there, there'll be something else along the same lines, but different script for that. I took this idea, and, and that's what actually kind of spawned the, um, the ability to play and pause Resi remotely. So I'm gonna right-click this, um, and I'm going to basically open it as a notepad file. I know notepad is not like the best thing for writing scripts in, but this is it. Like, it's actually very simple. I kind of took the idea from um, from the way ProPresenter uh, was sending commands, 
um, you could send like the, a play command or a pause command. And I was like, well, what if I did that with a telnet connection? So this is what you'll need. You'll need to write import telnet lib tn equals telnet lib dot telnet. And then this is important. You're gonna to wanna to put your IP address, um, not this one. Don't take this one. You won't be able to really use it anyways, but um, that you'll, you'll have to make sure that you get the IP address from the Resi computer. Um, then you'll need to put the port number 7788 um, and then a timeout of five. Uh, you could do it longer, but I'm fine. Five is fine. Um, then you're gonna write this command. Now, uh, the, the secret sauce, the thing that I don't understand, but I know works, um, is translating it into bits. Um, but like I said, I'm not a programmer, but uh, this this B right here was the missing piece to making this work. I tried for a really long time and then found some stuff online that was like, oh yeah, you just need a B. So here's the B, it's there. Um, if you copy this, run it as a, and if I, I, you know, obviously I can save this as a Python script. So whatever title I want, dot .py. Um, that's, that's how I got what I have here. And so I'll show you the pause script as well. Um, open with notepad. All right, uh, import, blah, 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 same thing, same thing, same thing, but the only thing that changed was the word pause. Now, Resi has a few, two other commands to play and pause. Um, they have a fade to black and play, and then there is a play and fade from black command. Um, I, I typically just use these two things um, because I have the switcher automated to do some stuff that um, we don't necessarily need it to play and pause from black. So anyways, that is the, the technical jargon for how it works, but let me just show you in context. Um, I'm gonna just like double click this command here. You'll see command prompt go and over here you'll see that it's playing. So I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna double click the pause resi Python script. You'll see the command prompt window pop up and there it is, paused. So I wanted to show um, just kind of the reason why I was troubleshooting and trying to figure out how to play resi um remotely number one is because you know it just makes it makes services very very smooth and seamless i don't have to have a person here you know pressing play and pause um so that that's nice and I, i'm not gonna give you all the reasons why um automation is just cleaner and faster and, and better um but I will say that there was problems with the only way that I saw documented. Um, the the way that Resi recommends on their website and ProPresenter even is um, to connect um, ProPresenter to Resi. And that's the only way that I've seen um, on the internet how to play this remotely. Um, and so you basically make uh, a network connection, obviously using the IP and stuff, just like we did in the script. Um, and you connect this every time you turn on the computer and you'll notice that there's this little remote control icon up there. Um, you can find all this on online, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. But the problem is after a while, and I don't know if this is just my problem or a problem in general, um, is that if I play and pause this enough, the connection breaks down. Um, and so I can, I can play it, you can see it playing. I'm gonna pause it. Now it's paused, play. Pause, play, pause, play, usually about 14 times or so, and um, something happens. And let's see if I can get it to trigger. I know you're just sitting here waiting. Maybe skip five forward, forward five seconds or something. I'm not gonna edit this video to make it any shorter. <laughs> um, da -da -da -da. Oh, is it just gonna have a perfect connection from now on? Oh, there it goes, there it goes, okay. So, notice that remote control is gone. All I did was click back and forth from play and pause. 
okay? So if you have like multiple services, a run through, um, maybe you have to test some things um, and like you have no idea when that connection is going to fail. And I didn't for a long time. It looks like the problem is still happening. I'm not smart enough to figure out why, um, but I do know that um, playing Resi from the script has not failed once. And I've been doing it for about eight months now. I wanted to wait long enough to see if there were any issues with it. But like, it's 100% reliable at this point in, in my records. Um, so it's well worth the time setting it up to do it this way if you already are, are, are in this environment of, of playing it without someone pressing a button. So um, I really hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed uh, this makeshift tutorial. Um, and I'll, I'll put links to all of the things. Um, I may even come back in and show you how I'm playing from Ableton. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that just for your enjoyment and sake of seeing it in action. All right, so I am looking at Ableton and the project file that holds the play and pause cues for Resi. These blue ones over here, that's for the video hub. Pay no attention to those. Um, but basically we're in this view and you know the songs are happening and i want to drop um, a play cue um, at the point in the service when we want um, resi to play and then obviously we're going to want to pause it so i'll drop a pause cue some point in the service and what's going to happen is these um, are our program changes um, those program changes are going to travel through that cable into that computer um, that computer is going to use BOM to translate that program change to execute a file. That file is the Python script that will um, then play Resi. So let's watch and see how she goes. So I'm going to play across. Boop. Fired. Fired. That was, that was all way too fast. So here comes the pause cue. We'll just wait for it. Um, and I'll just look at Resi and show you how it pauses. Boom. Paused. I don't know if you saw, but in the top left corner, there was a little tiny remote control that flashed up. Um, and I know I showed you via uh, ProPresenter that that remote control would break down sometimes. Um, actually, a, a lot of times. If you've spammed play or pause enough, it would break down. Um, but what I think makes this connection work so well is that it connects, presses play, then disconnects. So you only have one command every connection um, that that it makes. And yeah, with with great great um, consistency, like I can play and pause Resi during a service. Really hope this helps. And uh, yeah, and I hope you have a great day too.